tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello friends, this is a very brief one. When you go to Windows and to the Settings Preferences, you find the Plugin Manager here. And when you type in MTOA, which means Maya to Arnold, you see the version number when you click on the I. And uh, the new version is 4.2. That's Arnold 6.00, I think, or something like that. But the plugin version is 4.2. And I currently have a problem rendering. So when I render the scene using this, this menu here, it renders black. But this is a bug which will be over in, I think, pretty soon. And we're currently in at the end of January 2021. So when you have this new plugin installed, then you get nice effects and one of the effects I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So what I can do is I render this thing with the IPR option here. I have two lights in the scene. One is quite drastic and the object is sort of blue and gray. And I use the offset function to create a double wall, so to say, and I planted a, uh, a point light into that object here. I didn't care about the tessellation, that's why I see some things, a, a few things a little bit edgy or whatever. And when we go around this object, for example, here we see the reflections of the lights, two lights, as you can see. One is here and the other one is there. But I'll tell you how to create a blooming effect now. and. Uh, that's why I go to this icon here, which displays the render settings. And the common Arnold tab system, AOVs and diagnostics, go to the Arnold section and you find down here the images. I did a tutorial about the previous step forward to images, which is a post effect, sec um, well, variety of things really. And the new thing is the lens effect, which uh, has to do with the bloom. Let me remove it. And to start from scratch, so to say, with this scene here, I add a lens effect. It's a lens effect. Human lenses and camera lenses, they're all basically the same. They have a problem with extremely high exposed parts of surfaces, like in oceans, etc. So let's add a lens effect. Nothing changes here because the bloom, which is here, the vignetting um, was introduced earlier in Arnold, but the, the bloom is new. So um, if it's closed, open it. And the bloom strength is currently 0, 0.0. That means no effect at all. But when we raise this to 1 and rerun this render, we get that bloom effect. Now, let me walk a little bit around our object to see how it's working. You see in the parts where it's really bright, it makes that effect of this, well, it's called blooming. When we um, minimize the radius from four to one and rerun the effect, it's much less. So the bloom radius is important and the color as well. So let me crank this up to four or five and change the color so we see the effect better. And I choose this kind of red here and I increase the bloom strength to maybe two and I rerun that render. You see it renders the scene in between it sh shows us a little bit of this effect, but uh, once the render is done and all the anti-aliasing is done, then you see that effect coming out. Now let's uh, rotate a little bit around it. You see the red coming in here just a little bit. So 
So the bloom effect can be very subtle. And in ocean waves, you obviously have them all the time, especially when the sun is uh, very low. And uh, in this last example, I show you a very simple, this is not an ocean, don't, <laughs> not, nothing to worry about. It's just a deformed surface with a few waves, whatever. But you see that effect, where, which I used very subtly. Uh, the first part is without the bloom and here is the bloom. Well, with this, I leave you for now and bye-bye. <laughs>